outside of Canada, but they do have several um, United States clients as well. Um, so we're really excited to be partnered with them. This meeting's being recorded. There we go. Okay. Um, the uh, last thing I want you to know, okay. Now it's not doing it. My computer doesn't match the screen, but I'm gonna keep going. Um, <laughs> So we also are in an enterprise level agreement with Broker Bay. So everything I'm gonna show you today is included with your RE Colorado subscription. Um, there is a live appointment desk that you can um, pay for additionally, but I'll show you all of the desktop and mobile versions that you can use. Um, and then we will um, talk about the live appointment desk at the end. Oh, no worries, you're good. Here, maybe if I, what I did last time is I stopped share and then I reshared and it seemed to work, but why is it? I just don't know how to close it. Hmm. It's not on here. It's not on, it's not, it's not on my screen, guys. <laughs> it's definitely on your screen, but it's not on my screen. Oh, okay, great. So here we go. Yeah, this is good. All right, so drum roll. Here is the first look at Broker Bay. <laughs> um, when you very first log into Broker Bay, um, you'll be taken to your agent dash dashboard. So you'll see all of your listings in the first box. Um, not that they're staying on the market very long to uh, be in that box, but all of your listings will show. Um, then you'll see any appointments that you have. So whether you're the buyer's agent or the listing agent, all of your appointments will show there. Um, maybe the appointment needs to be approved or it's already confirmed, all of those will show. Uh, then you'll have any tasks or outstanding items that you need to complete. So if you need to configure a listing or you need to approve an appointment, those will be front and center um, for you to do. For those of you working on a team, Broker Bay makes it very easy for you to connect with your teammates and also see all of your team listings. Um, so for those of you on a team, that will show right there um, in this box as well. Um, and then the very last little widget here down at the bottom is for contacts. And there you'll see all of your clients. So you can connect your clients right with their property, um, but you also have a place for suppliers. So any affiliates that you're working with, um, photographers, carpet, painters, all of those you can um, add into Broker Bay as well. And then the very last part of contacts is my brokerage. Um, so when you go to my brokerage, you'll see all of your listings that are in your office, whether they're coming soon listings, a new listing, um, a price reduction, all of those will show. Um, same with all of your open houses. I'm gonna see if I can oh, open houses. This is a new in-person feature using a pointer. Um, <laughs> so you can see all of your open houses um, within your office and then any haves and wants. So the haves and wants works a lot like a private Facebook group. You know, you can say, hey, I need a rental in Parker, two bed, two bath, or I need a painter. Um, so all of your haves and wants can go there as well. All right, for any admin or staff, they have a very robust queue. Um, so they can jump in, approve listings, or approve uh, showings or configure listings for agents, um, just very seamlessly um, help out while you guys are working out on the field. Admin also have the ability to pull robust reports. So they can pull reports on listing feedback or the number of showings um, that the office um, or agents are getting. I think if I look at it, it moves faster. Um, all right, um, the listing view. So all of the listing information from RE Colorado Matrix will move over to Broker Bay. So anytime you enter the listing into Matrix, your next step will be to go into Broker Bay and configure your listings. So all of the pictures, all the property details, all of that just um, automatically goes right over to Broker Bay. One thing I wanna point out here is the Matterport tours. I know for some of you, it can be hard to get into showings. Um, some of you are probably staying up until the wee hours of the morning um, to schedule appointments on new listings. 
she knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so if you wanted to see a property virtually before you, um, you know, rush to set that showing or stay up until the wee hours of the morning to schedule, um, you can virtually tour properties with your clients. So it works a lot like a Zoom call. You'll see their face, they'll see your face, and you guys can walk through the Matterport tour together. Um, so you can go to the kitchen, talk about the cabinets, they can walk you to the backyard and talk about the landscaping. Um, this is, I think, one of the good things about COVID that happened is now we can virtually tour properties. The sellers can hear you. Yeah, they can see you, hear you, like a Zoom call. Not the buyer. Yes, sorry. The buyers can see you, not the sellers. <laughs> yeah, that would be terrible. Lynn. You have to have the Matterport tour in Matrix. Yep, good question. All right, um, did I skip one? Nope, okay. All right, booking listing, our booking showings through the MLS is also going to be really easy. We're going to add, um, thank you, Jackie, I will repeat the questions. Um, so um, you'll see the broker bay icon on your single line display. Keep in mind, some agents might decide to continue using showing time. So you could see the showing icon on some properties um, as well. Then on the full display right below the picture, if you're um, using Broker Bay, we'll automatically put um, that Broker Bay icon uh, right on that property detail page. All right, after showings, of course, the listing agent wants you to give feedback. <laughs> What's really cool about the feedback is you can customize the questions and the answers. So if you want to say, um, is my property overpriced? Of course it is, we're in Denver Metro, um, or no, or it's perfectly priced. Or maybe you wanna have a conversation with your client about um, repaving the sidewalk or the garage. So you can ask questions um, that will help you with your sellers. And then when you review that feedback, it just makes it really easy for you to scroll through all the questions and all the answers uh, to share that with your sellers. Speaking of sellers, they have a dashboard available. So your sellers can access Broker Bay um, to uh, confirm appointments um, or see you know, appointments that have been scheduled, set their notifications on a desktop or a mobile app. Um, I wanted to show you the mobile app because it's so easy to use um, for your clients. So they can um, easily confirm, deny, or reschedule appointments. They also have custom settings. So if they only want to be notified on time changes or on approved appointments, they can set those up. And then what's really cool is that they can sync all of their appointments to their calendar. So if they're using Google, iCloud, or Outlook, all of their appointments can go right to their calendar. All right, chatting with brokers. Not that you guys don't chat enough with your between each other, but you can chat each other through Broker Bay. <laughs> Aaron's shaking his head because he talks to realtors all day. Um, <laughs> but you can chat up to 20 different brokers at a time on the desktop or the mobile app. If you're running late, maybe you want to ask about um, repainting the kitchen or the carpet, um, you can quickly chat listing agents um, or buyer's agents. All right, for those of you that like um, reverse prospecting in Matrix, you will love this feature in Broker Bay. You can send a message to um, every agent that has shown your property at once. So maybe you wanna remind them of the contract deadline Monday at five, maybe you have a price change or an open house um, so they can come see the property again. This is a smart template. So all of these, I'm gonna try to be fancy again, blue um, boxes down here at the bottom, you can drag and drop those into the email. So if I wanna say, um, dear Joan, I know you showed my property at 123 Main Street. I can drag and drop the co-op name, drag and drop the listing address, um, and it automatically fills that in for me. All right, and, uh, no real estate tool would be complete without market analytics. Um, Solani, market analytics. We're on the stats committee together. Um, <laughs> so this is real-time data right from RE Colorado Matrix. 
You can um, see live data um, for different areas. If you want to compare cities or zip codes, um, all of that will come over right into Broker Bay. And I saw questions coming through, but I'll have to check them as I, at the end maybe. <laughs> That's okay, I'll check them at the end. I just see them popping up, but I'm not ignoring all of you on Zoom. I will check them. Um, all right, any questions about Broker Bay before we talk about next steps? All right, so we um, already made the partnership announcement. Um, right now we are in the pre-launch phase. So we are working very hard to write content, content um, make how-to guides, make videos. We're getting all of that ready right now. Um, in mid-July to early August, we will start the office onboarding. So a lot of your managing brokers um, or participants have already claimed their office, um, but the office onboarding um, will be an intricate part of launching. So for managing brokers, that means setting up the office. And then for agents, that means configuring your listings. Um, so you'll probably get sick of hearing us say, configure your listing, configure your listing, but that will um, be a big part of launching. Yes. Did I totally slip, probably skip that slide now that I'm thinking about it? I sure did, it's very easy. Thank you, Lynn, great question. Um, so configuring your listing is very easy to do. Um, you can enter in the minimum showing notice, uh, the maximum showing duration. Um, so if you, you know, for your entry level homes where you're gonna get 100 showings in the first two days, you can limit those to 15 minutes. Or if you have like a luxury property, you can make it one hour. Um, then you can choose who should approve showings. So if it's um, uh, two spouses or if it's a tenant and a landlord, maybe they have teenagers home from a school for the summer that need to clean the house before uh, the showing. <laughs> so you can set up a number of people to be notified um, or you can do auto confirm, which is what we know as go and show. Uh, one really cool thing that um, I don't have a screenshot of is you can say um, Monday through Friday, they want no showings from eight to 9.30. Um, like someone like me getting myself and my kids out of the house, I don't want showings at that time. <laughs> um, but then from 9.30 until 4, all showings can be auto-confirmed. I know we'll all be out of the house and it'll be clean and ready. So you can um, change when it's auto-confirmed and when your clients are notified. Um, for those of you using CenturyLock, hopefully everyone's using CenturyLock, um, <laughs> you can put in um, the CenturyLock box here and it automatically pulls in all of your um, serial numbers from your Century lockboxes. So now you can assign your lockbox right in Broker Bay. You don't have to go into multiple systems for that. Um, and then for the, the times where you have a property and there's like eight lockboxes on the fence or it's a condominium with a bunch of lockboxes on the door, you can take a picture of all of those lockboxes and circle or indicate which one is yours. Um, and then we, of course, we have all of our basic requests like turning off the lights, removing your shoes, all of that are just check boxes so you don't have to type those in. All right, any other questions? Not yet, okay. I'm really glad you asked that. I thought I missed a slide, so that's good. <laughs> all right, so um, once you configure out, once the majority of your office listings are configured, we'll set the launch date. So it will be a gradual launch. It won't be just everybody at one time. As soon as the office is set up and uh, the majority of listings are ready to go, that's when we'll start launching the offices. And then of course, ongoing log training, education. Um, RA Colorado is going to manage all of the training and customer care. So you can call the 303 number that you call for Matrix, Realist, App Help. Um, we're gonna be there for you for all of your broker bay needs as well. All right, and we have tons of tools already available to you, but we will have a marketing toolkit um, that you can use with your clients. So if you're going on a showing appointment or um, you need to let your sellers know how to use that da uh, dashboard or app, we'll have tons of resources available. Um, we already have a Broker Bay icon on your Connect dashboard, and you can click on that icon. It'll take you to um, videos, our FAQ, the timeline, um, so you can already um, check all of that out. 
All right, and like I said, there, um, there is an option for a live appointment desk. This is if you actually want to call on the phone and schedule showings, or if you want someone to call your seller um, to approve those showings. Um, like I said, everything I showed you today is included with your subscription, so the desktop and the mobile app. And then RE Colorado will do all the support. So if you're just wondering how to do something or there's a glitch, um, that would be RE Colorado. Um, so we will work during the onboarding process um, with each brokerage, whether they set up um, at the $8 level or the $20 level, we'll know more as soon as we get um, through the onboarding process. I usually get questions here, so I'm gonna take a second. <laughs> Yes, you have eight dollars a listing. So your the whole your whole brokerage would have to sign up, um, and then they set up all the billing during the onboarding process. And so that's eight dollars per active listing per month. So um, and you can turn it on and off for listings. So maybe you want the majority of your listings just to be on the desktop or mobile, but then you have that one client that might have you know some need to have a phone phone call. Um, you can change it per listing. Erin, that's a great question. I'll find out. I, um, his question was, is there bilingual options? And I don't know, I don't know yet. <laughs> they, they, uh, we were on a meeting and it was very funny. They, uh, I think someone said like y'all, y'all or something because you know, Colorado and ranches and stuff. And we're like, yeah, we don't say that really in Colorado, but it was funny. All right. All right. And of course, we're here to answer any of your questions. So never wait to get frustrated. Save RE Colorado in your phone as a favorite. Um, right when you call in, it's option one. And we're here for you guys six days a week. Um, so whether it's Broker Bay, Matrix, whatever the case may be, um, just give us a call and we're happy to help you along the way. There are questions in the Zoom chat box. I'm sorry. Oh, Zooming their question. Okay. Let's see if appointments. Um, okay, so Judy asked if appointments. Oh, it's bigger. Nope. If appointments or showing requests are canceled, will they be removed so we don't have to scroll through cancellations? Um, another great question. I I think so, but I will have to verify. I don't know that specific functionality, um, but I will find out. Um, is this partnership in response um, to the recent acquisition of Showing Time? Um, we, uh, RE Colorado just knew we needed to offer another option for showing services. Um, so showing time will still be available through RE Colorado, um, but Broker Bay will be our um, uh, exclusive partner for showing services. And any additional costs? Um, the only additional cost that you would have would be that live appointment desk. Um, we did have a dues increase um, June 1st. Um, that was um, due to a lot of products and services that we've recently launched. Um, so if you haven't already, check out the RE Colorado app. Um, we will be launching a new recolorado.com site later this year. So you'll see that as well. And then of course, like Lion Desk, Create My Agent, um, and a ton of other tools too. Yes. That's a great question. Um, and the question was, is RE Colorado going to have a, um, an e-contracts um, feature? Um, I don't think we have any plans yet, but it's also great feedback. So I will um, bring that back to the teams and the powers that be. Erin. Yeah if it's available? Yeah, great question. So Aaron's question was, um, does Broker Bay have a wait list option so they can, that agents can get on a wait list when all the showings are full? Um, so I'll find out about that as well. Um, one thing that we are going to do at launch and that's already available in showing time is you can book showings on coming soon listings for their expected active date. So, um, you know, after that seven day period, you can start booking ahead of time so that when it does go live, you're, you know, first in line. 
All right, let me make sure. I think we have two more. So um, Steve said the downside is the monthly cost per listing. Again, that's an optional charge. Um, and I think it's pretty competitively priced to what you might be paying now. So I think overall, it'll still um, save money for agents to use Broker Bay. Um, Susan asks, since showing time will still be an option for agents to use and agents opt to use Broker Bay, will all agent credentials be seamlessly transferred to Broker Bay? Um, Yes, so if you're an RE Colorado subscriber, all of your credentials and everything will just automatically go to Broker Bay. And then if you're using your Connect, log, uh, Connect dashboard to log into Broker Bay, um, it should all be seamless in a single sign-on. Yes, one more question. They would have to have either an RA Colorado subscription or an IRIS subscription because we have the data exchange with IRIS. So all of the you know, Northern Colorado agents will have access um, to schedule showings. Um, and uh, we are working with MLSs all across the state um, to create various levels of partnerships. So we'll have more news on that in the coming months. Um, yeah, so if, they're, if their license is revoked, they won't be able to have RE Colorado access at all. Um, so it, they wouldn't be able to access the mobile app or the desktop version. On the live service, um, they shouldn't, but again, I'll have to verify the specific details on that. But yeah, they, they'll have a feed of all of our, all, all of our customers. So they'll, they should be able to verify, yeah. All right, I think I have one more in the chat. Who is answering the phone for showings? Um, <laughs> this, uh, Steve Kineski, I feel like you're being ornery in the chat today. Um, <laughs> I think you should show up in person next time. Um, <laughs> They, it's a, a show, the answering service is through Broker Bay. So all of the billing for the live appointment desk and all of the answering service would be, it's through um, Broker Bay. I don't know exactly where they're located, um, but it's a broker, it would be all through Broker Bay. All right. Well, if there's no other questions, thank you guys so much for having me. I'll stick around to the end. So if you do have questions um, afterwards, I'm happy to answer them. Thank you, Jennifer. We really appreciate it. Um, okay, next on the agenda is Lonnie and Lynn. They are up to talk. Give us a quick five-minute presentation or so about stats. Great. Thanks, Janet. Uh, good morning. <laughs> I'm Lonnie with Draper and Kramer Mortgage and my better half this morning. Lynn Snyder gets with Keller Williams Denver Tech Center. And we're going to talk just briefly about May stats. So one of the things I really noticed is in May, we only had 6,145 new listings last month, which was down 8% from last year, but down over 23% from 2019. And my first thought was, how the heck did we have fewer new listings this May than we did last May during COVID when no one wanted to let anyone in their house? So that stat really stood out to me that we had fewer new listings. But buyers placed 6,441 properties under contract last month with an increase of 6.5 year over year from May last year. And it was a 14% increase. This was the highest amount of pendings or under contract seen in the last five years. So we may think we have no inventory, but we had more under contract, which means we have the inventory. We just have greater demand. 
And, and with that greater demand, that's why prices are up over 20% year over year, which is just astronomical. But that trend will probably continue if demand stays like it is. In May, the average close to original list price ratio was an amazing 105.8% on a detached home. That seems low to me because I put one under contract that was almost 100,000 over list price. Um, this means the average detached home sold for 40,000 over the list price and townhomes and condos sold for 103.5% or 15,000 over the list price. And this is why I've been telling my clients, your buyers since end of January, early February, that the list price is not the home's value. The list price is the opening bid in an auction. And if you've ever watched or experienced an auction, you know, the first bid's always really low and trying to increase demand. And so the list price is just the opening bid in the price of that home. And so we just have to get our clients to understand that. Like I had a client go under contract last week on a home here in Highlands Ranch listed at 990 under contract at 1.125 million an increase of 135. And according to Redfin, Metro Denver homes purchased by investors increase. And this is crazy, but how many of you get uh, calls weekly or texts weekly of investor clients looking for, and they all wanna know, do you have anything in your inventory? And I'm thinking, goodness, um, but it increased by 16.8 in the first quarter from the fourth quarter. And that's about 14% buyers uh, were real estate investors. This is probably why home sellers are seeing so many cash offers on their homes. Lana, you're an investor. Why are real estate investors buying up, scooping up properties in Denver when it's so hard for buyers to get it? Great question. There are four reasons, I believe. First, you know, savings account rates are basically 0%. So investors, people with a lot of money are looking for higher yields and real estate provides that. Second, I'm sure many real estate investors are leery of the stock market, of where it seems to be a little overheated right now, so they're looking for other investment vehicles. Third, the talk of limiting 1031 exchanges is causing investors to act now to, by selling and buying. That's what my wife and I are doing. We're selling the remainder of our rentals here and buying in another state doing 1031s. Fourth, higher home prices are locking more people into being a renter long-term, which for a real estate investor is really good. It's great for us as a real estate investor. So that's why we're seeing more and more investors coming back into our market because there's an opportunity. Especially in the last week, I had a few agents tell me on Monday when I was calling that it seemed like last weekend was really slow. I know I experienced that too myself. So I was, we're curious to hear what you guys experienced in the last seven days with your listings, especially. John, you had your hand raised. Right. Usually it, it, we're pretty good until July 4th and then the breaks go on and we're all like, my gosh, what happened? But it happens every year, right? Yeah. Crazy. Aaron. Aaron? It was what? I think 14% here in the first quarter, according to Redfin. Increased by 16.8. From the, from the fourth quarter to the first quarter, but 14% of all home sales were investor sales according to Redfin, okay? Uh, 
I know like yesterday, I had a client get under contract on a home at 500K in Aurora. It'd been on the market 12 days. And my clients are using down payment assistance and got it for the list price. They were so excited. <laughs> I was amazed. I was just shocked because I asked the agent, is there something wrong with this house? Did the agent do a ML, you know, a mistake like they listed as multifamily instead of single family or something? He goes, no. And it looks great. So Doomers Thank can't you. hear questions. Oh, other questions? Okay, great. We couldn't Thanks. hear questions. Thanks, guys. So the market's hot. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we got a couple more announcements. Um, so Friday Fuse on July 2nd. We will not have a Friday Fuse next week. So our next one is July 2nd, and that one will be featuring one of the top attorneys for property managers in the Denver Metro market, Mark Cheddar. Um, he will give us an update on the latest eviction and real um, rental ordinances, which are kind of uh, been a problem this year um, with, within the legislature. Uh, the food drive. So after this is over at 1030, we're doing the food drive. Um, it goes through 1.30 and it will be out in the parking lot. So you can pull your car around, you can pull up, you can pop your trunk and they will come and get the food out of the back of the trunk from you. And all of this goes to IFCS. Yes. So the food will go to IFCS and then they distribute it um, kind of equally amongst all populations. Um, parents with kids, parents, elderly people. Um, it's kind of a... Um, one-stop shop for a lot of people. Uh, the other thing is we have a Smedra reading circle. Uh, the book that they are reading is uh, The Color of Law. Uh, they will be doing it on July 22nd. And if you need to grab your book, um, they would like you to join them. And then also YPN is doing a step up for RPAC. So get your running shoes on. They have an app. Um, you can either talk to Michelle or myself or um, let's see, um, Mark's here. Um, he's on YPN. There's a couple other people. Um, but if you're interested in that, please find somebody and um, that all will all go to our pack. Um, so at this point, um, we would like to introduce um, our affiliate members, members. So if you are an affiliate, if you could stand up real quickly, give a really, really quick who you are and what you do, and we will do that real quick. Microphone. Hello, hello. It works. <laughs> wow. Um, my name is Nick Burkett. I'm with Premier Mortgage. I actually signed up officially yesterday. Uh, vis visited first time last week. So thanks for having me. Yeah. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> well, at least today. <laughs> I'm Amy Rasco with Amy, Amy the Carpet and Flooring Girl. Uh, in our flooring. So I'm a mobile showroom. I will bring the showroom directly to you, to your customers. I have fabulous stock carpet that we can get switched out for a house that has that beautiful pink or cat pee carpet that needs to be turned out before you sell. Amy Rasko, Amy the Carpet and Flooring Girl. Thank you. Good morning, Smedra. It's about time to get, you know, I love this place. Anyway, Ross Ulrich, I'm a custom home builder and if you need any help in that area, I would be glad to build on Anchorage, build in Ravana, build any place uh, your customer's at. So appreciate you having me. Good morning, I'm Brittany Prescott. I am with Roof Brokers. Um, everyone else is way more talkative than I am at this hour. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, call me if you have any questions, concerns, or have a roof you need checked out. Good morning, everyone. This is Kelsey McMaster with Apex Title and your chair of CCIC. So we're playing Dodge microphone later, right? <laughs> so I'm Michael Went. I'm with Loan Depot and the Home Changers and Real Estate Team with office right upstairs here. 
um, any sort of mortgage needs you may have, whether it be you need quick closing or something super complicated, I'm your guy. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. I'm Dan Dinner with Exodus Moving and Storage. I'm home again. I feel this is my home away from home. Anyway, local, long distance, and we pack and store. In Good morning, y'all. Randy Tickle, call, used to be Colorado State Bank and Trust, now be okay financial for about the last eight years, but some of you still think of us as Colorado State Bank and Trust. I sell money and also refer you to other people if you have banking needs, office in Highlands Ranch, and glad to be back. Good morning, Smith Rye Murray, the owner of Pro Flooring, celebrating 36 years in business, full service installation and material. We have a showroom, but we're also mobile. We also do stock carpet like Amy does. So um, we'd love to floor you and your clients nicely. Give us a call, Marie with Pro Flooring. Good morning, I'm Carolyn Duncan of Duncan Legal. We help people put the puzzle pieces together. We do estate planning, trust and probate work and some family law. Good morning, my name is Andy Dytel. I've got a company, the Sports and Entertainment Marketing Group. For realtors, we have some great corporate gifts for your clients. We also do casino night parties and we do charity auctions. So if your office is looking to uh, get a little more publicity, bring some clients in, please see me. And we've got some great gifts uh, starting at $100 and we'd be glad to work with you. Just give me your card and we'd be glad to get your CD. Thank you. All right, good morning. I'm Desiree Binka Rothenberger with New Home National Title. I'm sliding in and out because I've got a closing going out of state that they keep calling on. So, um, but here to help with all of your title insurance needs, we're just down the hall. So feel free to stop in and say hello. And she didn't stand up, but I'm going to make my escrow assistant introduce herself to you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lisa Chavez. I'm the escrow assistant, New Home National Title. Good morning, I'm Mike Giuliano with Farmers Insurance. Good morning, Tom Gross, Assurance Mortgage. We have LOs that are sponsored by Assurance that are fluent in Spanish, French, and Arabic. Good morning, everyone. I'm Oscar Galloway with Able Financial Residential Lending. Uh, we specialize in all the down payment assistance programs and uh, some of the more difficult uh, products such as bank statement programs, those sorts of products. Hi, Ed Brooks with Master Odor Removal. If you're listing smelling, it isn't selling. I take lots of odors out of a lot of places. I'm glad to help you out if you have an odor issue. Good morning, everybody. Max Floyd with Precision Transaction Management, Vice President of the company. Uh, Morgan Anderson is their first meeting, so I want to bring her introduce you all. She's our marketing manager, so I'm going to hand it off to her. Um, a little bit more about our company. We manage uh, transactions, your paperwork, and deadlines. So if you're interested, you can come talk to me. Hi, I'm Lonnie Glusser with Draper and Kramer Mortgage and one of your stat geeks. I love teaching and writing about stats on a weekly basis. Great. And then if there's anybody on um, Zoom that would like to unmute themselves and introduce themselves real quickly. Nobody on Zoom wants to introduce themselves. Okay. Um, okay. So thank you guys all for being here. Welcome to the people who are this, that's their brand new first time here. Um, Okay, let's see. Um, before I um, thank our corporate sponsors, we're gonna do the raffle. So Marie's gonna come up and she's gonna announce who won how much money. All right. If you were sleeping, you're awake now. <laughs> okay, so the lucky winner is, I'm gonna do the last 
four numbers on your ticket. It's zero, two, eight, zero. Zero, two, eight, zero. Ha ha ha, good. Are we giving our, are we giving our stuff away? Yeah. Most excellent. Good job. Okay. Cool. Are we just passing this around? Yeah. All right. So, so um, they're back. So I've been known to be the pistachio lady. And um, so I have a, a bag of pistachios. They're healthy snacks <laughs> after you eat the cookies. Okay, zero, two, three, six. Zero, two, three, six. All right. Put those back in there. Put those back in there. There we go. She has a luckier touch than I do. I don't know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Zero three seven four. Zero three seven four. Yay. 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 All right, cool. You enjoy those. All right. Does anybody else have any giveaways? Maybe you have giveaways? Okay. So I'm on, I'm on. I'm I am. I'm I am. Okay. So um, we would like to take, thank our 2021 corporate sponsors Platinum, US Bank, New Home Title, Strategic Partners, 5280 Home, CE Shop, RE Colorado, and Century Lock, Gold, Compare Title Companies, Exodus Moving, Game Changers in Real Estate, Guaranteed Rate, Land Title, The Odo Group, Silver. 210 Warranty, Denver Relocation Guide, First American Title, Golden Dog Title, My Denver Mortgage Company, Stewart Title, WFG National Title, Bronze, The City of Aurora, Faith Cleaning, Fidelity National Title, Kid Roofing, Lighthouse Property Inspections, Roof Brokers, Ting, and Wolf Riggs. So give, a, give them a hand, please. Okay, we had a jam-packed day and we got it in and we're only four minutes over. Woo okay, so now we're gonna start the marketing session, uh, mar marketing part of this session. Um, so if you have a listing and you have not let us know about it, please let us know. Jennifer's going to pull them up on the screen. Um, if people need to get off on Zoom or if you guys need to go about your day, we certainly understand. Um, Okay, so a couple of reminders. Only realtors or member builders may present properties or buyer wants and needs. When pre presenting properties, ensure you comply with the NAR clear cooperation policy. Only listings that have not been presented at a previous meeting or have a significant price reduction can be presented. Um, and if you did not fill out the listing form, <clears throat> but still wish to present your property, please, um, let Jennifer know, put it in the chat if you're on the, um, if you're on Zoom. And okay, Jennifer, we ready? Okay. The very first one is, well, it looks like the next three are Sunny. So Sunny, you want to come talk, come up and talk about your. Huh? I know, I've got three of them going here. And what I've discovered is the acoustics in this room is horrible. Um, if you're in the back, you can hardly hear. So anyway, this was is brand new, showing start today. It's in Strawberry. It is a two bedroom. Maybe the people that are chatting to the side would prefer to go to the other side of the doors where the food is. Maybe they wouldn't. All right, we're gonna send in the big gun, right? <laughs> All right, for those of you guys still here, this is a strawberry unit, two bed, two bath, and it's listed for, I don't even remember, um, three, 295, thanks, Jennifer. 
I didn't know what was going to pull up and what wasn't. There you go. Anyway, it's in tip top primo, primo shape. It's really nice. Showing start at nine this morning. All right. If you need a weekend drive, don't do it this weekend. Um, I understand we have a plumbing leak and I've got somebody going up there and I have horrible pictures because they've been remodeling this, but they are going up there to fix the plumbing leak and then we'll get some better pictures. This is in South Park. The views are stunning. You know, until I listed this property, I never realized that South Park was anything but a TV show and very flat. I mean, it was nice and open, but you know what? If you go 15 miles down Highway 15, it is absolutely amazingly stunning. And this is listed at 375. Yep, 375. And it is, it's technically a one bed, one bath, but there is actually the opportunity for two more bedrooms in the loft. Um, there's just not official doors to both sides. And there is a balcony that overlooks the mountains. Just amazingly beautiful. So anyway, there's that one. And one more. 923 South Evanston. This is Greenbrook. It actually, this is the one that went on the market last weekend. Again, it's really nice. Two bed, three bath, basement, two car garage. And we're listed for 360 on this one. And I know that there's another one that just sold for or went under contract fairly recently in the 390s. And the only difference is a finished basement and it's a homeowner done finished basement. So give me a call if you've got buyers for it. Thanks. Pamela. Pamela online. Can we hear them online? Do we have Christy? Christy yes, Nelson? I am here. Good morning. Oh, we Good morning. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. Absolutely. All right. Am I good to go? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Per perfect. So I just wanted to invite you guys to check out this is not it. <laughs> Mine is 26886. East Clifton Place. There we go. So this beauty is located in Blackstone Country Club. It overlooks the sixth hole. It is being offered right now at 949000 We have six bedrooms, six bathrooms, dual offices, remodeled kitchen, a fully finished basement with a full kitchen. It is stellar for any families that may be coming or even teenagers that need a place to go hang out. Uh, we have new exterior paint, new interior paint. Um, we also are walking distance to the Blackstone Country Club. Uh, we also do have um, lease solar panels that have a capped utilities, but also uh, my sellers wanted to share with you. One, I am hosting a broker open. I am in route there now from 10 to noon and would love to see any of your beautiful faces come join me. And anyone who puts a, the property under contract by Sunday and closes within 45 days will get a $1,500 bonus from my sellers. So that is something I haven't seen in a couple of years. So hopefully that is something that's enticing that will get you guys to bring your buyers out. And just thank you all very much for your time and let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so this is a listing that I put on the market last weekend. As you can see, it's showing pending, but it is going back active this afternoon. Uh, it's down in Monument in Woodmore. It's a great property, uh, six bedrooms, four bathrooms. It's got a walkout finished basement. It's on 0.79 acres, and uh, it needs a little bit of TLC, but it's, it's really not bad. Uh, the property comps out about 725. We're listed at 600. Um, we did have, you know, 30 showings and a handful of offers last weekend. 
uh, strangest thing was when we went back to the other buyers we had offers from, they all said, no, we're not interested at this point. So it's a strange deal. So, but it is going back active this afternoon um, and showings will be Saturday and Sunday and hopefully we'll get some more offers. So we got somebody looking for, you know, even an investment opportunity. Um, it's a great place. Uh, the buyers that we had walked over the HOA documents, uh, they thought they could build a bigger shop on the property than they could. And uh, so to that aspect, the maximum size for an outbuilding is 532 square feet, which I'm not even sure where you would put that on this lot anyways. So. Uh, good morning. My name is Chris Trujillo with Keller Williams DTC. I have a townhome over in Forest Glen, which is basically Hampton and Wadsworth. Uh, it's for $399.9. Uh, this townhome needs a little bit of update, a little bit of loving care. It was well maintained by the original owners. Um, the end unit needs cosmetic updates, but was again, lovely maintained. Uh, includes a large great room, loft, breakfast nook, and a spacious kitchen. It's ideal for entertaining, has vaulted ceilings and skylights. Uh, there's a full unfinished basement, so you can put your own personal touch on it. So please bring your buyer's showing start today at 10. And uh, again, I'm Chris, 303-618-4999. The uh, square footage is 3,708. Very good size. Okay, anybody else have any listings coming soon? Nobody on the screen. Anybody have any buyer wants and needs that they wanna talk about? Lynn? Of a buyer I'm going out with that I'm leaving here at 10. He's looking, he can spend up to $750. Um, he'd like Centennial DTC area, Littleton, at least three plus bedrooms. Um, he's a first time home buyer. So if you've got anything coming up or know of anything, let me know. Anybody else have any buyer wants and needs? Anybody on Zoom have a buyer want and need? Anybody say anything? Okay. If not, thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful weekend. Go sell something. Go list something.